Hello! Today I've got this very natural and normal look for you. Yeah, never mind. Um, I just basically felt like playing with makeup today, or more specifically playing with uh, my face paints. And yeah, this is what it turned into. Um, what I pretty much tried to do was to just sort of like do the whole eye shaping thing. Like, you know, like what you usually would do with eyeshadow, but then with only black and white face paint. Just seemed like a fun idea to try out. Um, obviously this isn't meant for like daily wear or anything. It's just meant for fun and I think makeup should also be fun. Um, so yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about this. Let's get started. Okay, I'll just start with showing you what I used on my face. Seeing as, you know, this is not exactly a wearable look. So, yeah. Um, so I used the uh, Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. The Makeup Academy Whipped Velvet Blush in Rococo, I think. I'll just list everything down below. Uh, this old eyebrow kit by Essence, which is basically just brown eyeshadow. And then uh, the Catrice Nude Illusion Powder. I didn't actually use any real face makeup, but yeah. And then onto the eyes, I started out with the Maybelline Color Tattoo in uh, Creme de Rose, as usual. And I just used it as an eye base, also as usual. Then used the Catrice Nude Illusion Powder to set it. Just so I know for sure that it won't, you know, crease up and all. Then for the fun part, I used uh, Face Paint by Crayola. This is a palette, but you can also just, you know, find the colors separately. Uh, but yeah, I just used black and white and I started out basically uh, making a huge black spot where I would usually make the crease the darkest with eyeshadow. And yeah, I sped this up for you because it's really something that takes a long time. Like, especially in the part where my eye just, you know, where the skin creases... It's really difficult to get the line straight and I really want to have smooth lines. But yeah, eventually it uh, turned out looking like this and then I had to just wave at it for a while to get it to dry. And then as you can see here, I just have a line when I have my eyes open. So yeah, I just basically marked where my crease starts to be visible sort of when I have my eyes open and just basically filled it in as well. So that when I have my eyes open, you can actually see a dark spot and not just a line. And then I went on to white with a different brush and just made a winged eyeliner with it. You could use the same brush and just wash it uh, between colors, but yeah. I figured it's easier to just use a different brush. Also, I have the feeling with an angled brush I can make, I don't know, thinner lines, I guess. But yeah, I just uh, followed the wing that the crease already makes and just left a little bit of skin open between the black and the white. It doesn't matter if uh, the face paint ends up on the eyelashes because, yeah, I'm going to use white eyelashes anyway. Then I also did the eyebrow highlight with, with white face paint. And the part where I usually would put the most highlight, I just, you know, did the biggest. And then for the rest of it, I just basically followed the line of my eyebrows. It's actually a really good like practice method if you're not very good yet at applying eyeliner because really all the straight lines and all, yeah. <laughs> and then I also applied the white shade underneath my eyes. Pretty much all the way to the front. And I also, as you can see here, sort of tried to attach it to the wing. Um, so it's basically just one shape and also two separate things like the bottom part and the top part of the eye just become one. Big eye look, yeah. And as you can see, I almost, almost put it to the inner part of the eye, but not fully. Then I use black uh, with the same brush because I'm done with the white now. And uh, on the outer corner of the eye, just sort of darkened up the lash line. Just to, just to make it more defined on the bottom and on the top part is because um, the lash band of the eyelashes I'm going to use is still quite dark. And I don't want the lash band to show too much, so yeah. And then I decided to also do a wing with that. However, uh, since I'm applying black over white now, it has a tendency to turn grey. Um, so if you're doing this as well, then you know you will need to apply different or the multiple layers of black to really get it to look black instead of grey. And the most difficult part of the part, of course, is to get it to look even. Um, for the lashes, I used uh, the Peggy Sage eyelash glue and these white lashes, and I'll also show you how I made them. Um, they're basically just very cheap 
lashes from eBay and I used use the face paint I've also used on my eyes to paint them white. It's basically the cheapest and easiest method to get white eyelashes. I mean I've never looked for white eyelashes anywhere online but you know I'm guessing they're pretty difficult to find. And this is definitely the cheapest way to get them. So yeah I just apply two layers of face paint. You can apply multiple layers like you can apply as many layers as you want. You can even make them completely white but I wanted to still have some black showing so the sort of looks I don't know, frozen-ish? Yep. And then I just applied them to my lashes, obviously. It wasn't until I started editing this that I noticed that actually I didn't apply it properly. Like, the outer part is too low. Yeah, it annoys me. I don't know, for some reason it's just way easier for me to apply eyelashes on other people rather than on myself. But I do like the effect they give. And that was pretty much almost it for the eyes. Um, I'm just letting the lash glue dry while I apply lipstick. And I used Maroon by Catrice on the outer edge of my lips. And then Vanilla Truffle, I think it's called, by Essa Louder on the inner part. Sort of making an ombre look. Then back to the eyes with the Catrice Glamour Doll Mascara. I mainly focused on the bottom lashes, but I also applied a little bit on my top lashes. Um, if you don't have your eyelashes tinted black like I do, then it's probably a good idea to actually do your eyelashes before applying the falsies. Yeah. And that's the final look. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much for watching. And see you next time. Bye! Inner corner. And then I actually went on to some natural colors. This is the uh, Makeup Revolution Flawless Matte Palette. And I just used the palest shade to 